I'm Brian Professor B. Davis, and this is your San Francisco Giants post-game recap. Tuesday night here at AT&T Park on the night we remembered for the, the, the thousands of victims who died in that horrible tragedy on September 11th, some 17 years ago in New York City of the World Trade Center. Here behind me of the people who lost their lives for the men and women, the, the paramedics and police departments and firefighters who uh, sacrificed their lives for us to fight for our freedom on 9-11 and remember those victims. Here at at and Park, uh, the Giants fell to the Braves Tuesday night as the Braves handed the Giants their 10th consecutive loss, matching the franchise Giants' longest losing streak in 22 years. Giants fell to the Braves 4-1 to as the Giants were able to only get one run and it just uh, and they got it in the ninth inning as the starting pitcher for the Braves for it knew it's pitched a complete game six hitter giving up one earned run going the distance for Atlanta and the Giants um, offense continued to struggle and the only uh, bright spots were Brandon Crawford with an RBI single in the bottom of the ninth inning to give the Giants the only run of the game and then for, for, for of the contest and Evan Longoria two for four scoring that run as well. So here are the final totals for the Braves. Four runs, nine hits, no errors that left nine runners left on base. For the Giants, four runs, six hits, two errors. They left four runners on base. Forden Newitz gets to win his record proves to 11-9. Andrew Soares, who pitched well, giving up three, um, six hits. Uh, he had three strikeouts, takes the loss. His record goes to 6-11. The home run of the contest was by former Giant farmhand Charlie Culbertson, his 11th of the season. Time of the ball game, two hours and 31 minutes before a paid crowd of 35,285. The Giants' loss is now a French 10-game losing streak. They're now at even 10 games below 500. It's only just the third time since the team has moved west in 1958. They have gone through a 10-game losing streak at this matter. Two other times that it happened previously was back on June 20th through the 30th of 1985, they went on a 10-game losing streak, which they went on to have one of their worst seasons in franchise history when they go on to lose 100 games. And more recently, from June 21st to June 30th of 1996, when the Giants end up went on a 10-game losing streak, they would finish the 96 campaign with a 68-94 and record. Giants are back in action. Hopefully they can try to salvage the final game of the three-game series against the Braves and avoid their 11th consecutive loss, which would be their long, would break a new San Francisco Giants franchise record and would be there and try to avoid their longest losing streak since way back in 1944 when the team was in New York. Giants will send, they will end up sending Derek Holland on the mound against the veteran right-hander Anibal Sanchez. First pitch, 12.45 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. For the latest on Giants news and so much more, go to sfgiants.com. Once again, the final score Tuesday night here at at t Park at 24 Willie Mays Plaza here in China Basin in downtown San Francisco. Giants fell to the Braves 4-1. to one. And we'd like the reminder that to remember all the victims and the firefighters and the people who lost their lives in the total tragic of 9-11 some 17 years ago. But in the meantime, I'm Brian Professor B. Davison. So long from AT&T Park here in downtown San Francisco. Giants fell to the Braves 4-1. to one. You've been watching San Francisco Giants postgame recap. Have a good night, everybody.